Well, welcome to the uh, Lumbee Tribe Culture Center uh, Amphitheater. This is the Lumbee Tribe Stronghold. And uh, we want you all to come here and enjoy the pool and everything else that goes with that. We're here at the Dr. Adolf Dahl Amphitheater. And um, he was a great man. He did a lot of great things for our people. Over the last three years, four years, we've been working on the dam around the lake. It's 1.1 miles long. It's a $5 million project. And we're about to finish it. And hopefully we'll have it ready by the uh, uh, fall powwow, which has been moved to the fall. That's why I'm wearing my t-shirt tonight. Uh, that's the spring moon powwow. And it will be October 8th and 9th. And on October the 10th, that Sunday, we'll have the annual spot fry. Also, uh, as you may know, we partnered with the Lost Colony this year for the first time in 83 years. American Indians are playing American Indian roles in uh, Mania, North Carolina, and Outer Banks. Eight of those 12 roles have been played by Lumbee. There's a great collaboration that's going on between Strike and Win and the Lost Colony. Dr. Radolph Don and some others hired this writer from Chapel Hill. His name was Randolph Umberger. And he wrote Strike in the Wind. And he was the protege for Paul Breen, who wrote The Lost Colony. So there's a lot of things that are going in between those two. But ever since I met this man over here, there's been nothing but constant collaborations. Uh, the chancellor couldn't be here tonight and asked me to uh, give you his regrets that he couldn't be here. But through the collaborations between the tribe and the university and Jonathan Drehos, now we have a partnership between The Lost Colony and Strike the Wind. And there will be any more efforts and uh, well, workshops and things that's going to happen on that. The tribe has money in the budget this coming year for dramatic arts, visual arts, cultural arts, and all this is made possible through these collaborations. So we're very proud of that. And just this past week, the Lost Colony donated $3,000 to Strike the Wind for the cast and crew uh, for the next coming week and this weekend. So I want to thank uh, Jonathan Drehus. This is the fourth of, of, uh, showing of Strike Wind. It was two years in the G-Pack, and then it came here when we got this uh, almost ready. We're going to rebuild this whole area in here starting next week through a grant. But when I met this man, he called me. I didn't know him from Adam when I first got in office. He says, what did it take to get Strike Wind going again? So it was a long process. We had to go and find a playwright who had passed away and get the script. That was a process, but it was ultimately done because the significant other on the script writer believed in Jonathan and the team that we put for him, Dr. Melinda Mayor Lowry, as you know, our husband, you know, and I owned the rights to the music and wrote the music. So we went through that whole process, got it done, but I'm telling you, if we wouldn't be here tonight, we wouldn't be talking the things we're talking about when we're talking about dramatic arts, and not just dramatic arts, it takes dramatic arts to be able to put the story of Henry Barry Lowry and Constriction and Fort Fisher and all the things that happened to our people back in the 1800s. It doesn't happen without the start of dramatic arts. And this man, this man right here, came to Pembroke, UNC Pembroke, came to the community, wanted to be involved, and made this happen. Without his vision and his heart for the people and the community, we wouldn't be here today. So much. So Jonathan, on behalf of the Lumbee Tribe, I want to offer you a small gift of our appreciation that comes through the crafts and uh, arts of the Boys and Girls Club of the Lumbee Tribe. We love you. We thank you for everything you're doing through dramatic arts to help our people to build the character and the talent of our people. We have the most talented, beautiful people in any tribe in North America. God bless you. Sir. Well, now we got to do a play. <laughs> and to have this honor from the uh, chairman of the tribe and the support from the, the tribe has been uh, a life-changing honor. Uh, so I thank you, chairman. I can't thank you enough for all the things you've done over the last five years for this play and for this story. And thank God for all of you being here tonight to see.
And this was actually the first time though that I've seen it with the reproduction. Um, some changes, but all in all, it was very informative play. And yes, I would come back to see it again. And next time, bring more with my family. Yeah, I think it's important for the little ones to see. And know your culture. Yeah. Know, know more about the story about Henry Barry Lowry. <laughs> The Union Army is headed right this way. Now you better worry about them and not this boy. And he's going to keep right on marching, my boy. The only thing that's going to change is trying to flag. You're the one that better watch out. Now hear me? Come with us.